Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is LJ and you're watching No Clutch Garage. Today we're going to be talking about the new pump by Dorch Engineering. This is specifically the DS25 slash 250. And we'll go into what all of that means, but right now I just wanted to tell you I do have the pump here with me. We're going to do a small unboxing. And in another video, we're going to be unboxing another product from Dorch Engineering and we'll go over it. In this video, we're going to go through the contents of the box and what's included with this kit and also some information about this pump versus the previous iteration. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, let's begin. I took this out of the original packaging box because there were several pieces and honestly, I didn't think to do the unboxing until after I got some new information from Chris Dorchester, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox all of this. So this is obviously just the fuel line. This is the fuel line that is gonna be connected to this pump and it's important because it is a different design. This time they did an AN fitting on one end with a 45 degree angle to allow for access on the fifth cylinder plug and coil. Obviously we have the other end that is still very basic, the same as the fuel system line fittings. The hard line fitting goes in here and then you lock it with this nut, which is a great design. I actually really like this design. I don't like the fact that sometimes these come loose if you don't tighten it correctly. So just always make sure that these are tightened properly and you won't have that issue. And this is just a flange, just like the other flanges that have come before this one on the other pumps. So aluminum flange goes on the valve cover and then the pump goes over it. And here finally we have the pump. And we have some hardware. We have the bolts for the pump, the bolts for the flange. And then here we have the pump itself. I have already opened it because I was just looking at it when I first got it. So if we open this up, we're gonna find this pump. And this pump is a little bit different than the one previously offered. The design overall is almost the same. One of the bigger differences would be of course that this part right here, which is where this line will go. So now they've added an AN fitting and this just makes sure that the connection is safer, it's actually connected properly, and also it's gonna allow for that access on cylinder five, which was a big deal. But this pump overall is different internally. Some people don't realize this, but this is laser welded. So, you know, there have been some rumors out there of people saying these are just any other GM pump, and that's just simply not true. The pumps are actually made by Stanadyne, which is the, the pump maker that actually makes all the pumps for GM, Dorch, and a few other companies. So it's not that Dorch Engineering copies GM, they're all made by Stanadyne. So any LT4 pump, like GM LT4, any of the other companies that are making these types of pumps, they're all getting their pumps from Stanadyne. But the funny thing is Stanadyne doesn't actually sell anything if you want to get any of their pumps you have to actually partner with them and do the engineering side of it so regardless of you know whether these these chassis on these pumps are made by the same manufacturer or even the internals even if they were the engineering still has to be done by the company requesting these pumps so that's why you have the variances between each company and in flow and so i uh, just wanted to dispel that real quick since it seems to be quite a topic in the b58 community now having covered all that there's no doubt that these pumps have the best flow they also have really good fitment the kit is complete it comes with fuel lines and everything that you need to swap out I didn't have the fuel lines because I already have a fuel line on my car that is from a Dorch pump and it fits exactly the same so I don't actually have to swap it out. They also have the best control software for these pumps and of course as always they have the best customer service and that's largely one of the reasons why I prefer this pump over the competitors. It's just so easy to talk to Dorch Engineering if you have any kind of issues. Oftentimes I see people on the forums talking about you know certain companies but they always make the same mistake they don't reach out to the company itself and the one thing about this company is i know that if i reach out to them today i will hear from them today or tomorrow and my issue is going to be addressed so that's one of the things that i do love a lot about Dorch engineering let's talk about the ds1 
or as it's now known, the DS15, which is basically a 1.5 version revision. So the DS15 is an upgraded version of the DS1, and you can find a 19% increase in flow. With the roll pressure still around 200 bar, you will see an increase in flow. And as you go up in the rev range, closer to 7K, that percentage increase decreases, but it's still a good 10% and overall it's just a, it's a minor improvement and i think that's why they named it the 25 or the 15 it's it's technically ds1.5 because it's just an iterative update it's not like a completely different staged pump i'm going to show some graphics on the screen but on the ds15 you can see where at the beginning it's around 19 percent and as the rev range goes up that flow drops and you can see it goes down to 11 percent so this pump now the ds1 is good for 600 wheel horsepower on a b58 car i've actually installed a few of these and i've seen the data and yes the ds1 whatever is claimed it's usually what it hits so on my personal car when i had my ds2 and I was DI only, I think the most power I made was around 650 horsepower. And if you go on the website and you look at the potential flow, on E85 it's around 550 and on gasoline it's about 750. And at that time I was running around E50 blend. So it makes perfect sense that it actually fits in right in the, in the 600, 650 range. So I would say that it's pretty accurate. And then of course, when you add a cam to the DS15, yes, I do think it's worth it in some instances if you don't want to go extremely crazy. And of course the cams themselves are pretty expensive, but if you do add a cam with the 40% cam upgrade load from Dorch Engineering, that potential of 600 wheel horsepower on gasoline goes to 750 wheel horsepower and the potential flow in E85 goes from 440 to 610 wheel horsepower. Meaning that if you're in, uh, around an E40, E50 mix, you'll likely see around 550 wheel horsepower out of your car with just simply swapping this pump out and then of course if you add the cams it'll be more i think from what i can deduce is that the ds1 is essentially almost an equivalent replacement of the ds2 with the ds2 being replaced by the ds25 and increasing all the things that we loved about that pump and making it way better that's a basic overview on the ds15 and of course it's plug and play it's got a lifetime warranty customer support, and of course tuning support. And I know for a fact that they offer tuning support because when these pumps first came out, I had to actually go back and forth between Dorch Engineering and my tuner in order to get the right calibration data. And so yes, they do work with your tuner. If you're, if for some reason, you're on a custom tune or the calibration on the OTS maps just isn't working for you, you can reach out to Dorch Engineering and they'll be able to help you out. Now let's talk about the DS25 and the DS25 is what I have right here. More specifically, this is the DS25 250. I will tell you later why it's called the DS25 250. Simplistically, the 250 means 250 bar, which means that these pumps are actually capable of running at 250 bar. And you may ask, well, why would they want to be ran at 250 bar? The DS2 is a 200 bar pump and it supports the injector flow that you would need for upgraded injectors, but this is better suited for that. And especially with a cam, you won't really need to swap from the DS2 to the DS25 to support the big injectors, but it is more recommended that you do. These pumps have been re-engineered. The reason why these are called the DS25 250 is because these are made for the Gen 1 B58. There is also a DS25 350 that is made for the Gen 2, and those pumps just came out. So there are some changes here. I'll put up a graphic on up on the screen, but just real quick right now, the flow potential on gasoline, 750 wheel horsepower. And of course that 750 wheel horsepower number, in order to achieve that, you need really good fuel or uh, also larger displacement. The flow potential on E85 is around 550 wheel horsepower. And like I said earlier, the operating pressure is about 250 bar. With a cam, which is a 40% fuel flow upgrade, you can reach a thousand wheel horsepower with just gasoline. Again, if you had the displacement, the turbo, everything, very possible. And then on E85, 770 wheel horsepower, that would be with the cam as well. This pump will work better with the cams, obviously, but also with the injectors that are gonna be coming from Dorch Engineering in the future. The future looks pretty bright for Dorch Engineering, actually. So let's go over some figures, right? So if you look at the DS25 versus the DS2, you can see that there's easily 
anywhere between a 20 to 25 increase in flow at around 2000 RPM. And so that's really low end. Uh, you're gonna see better flow. And then as you rise into the RPM, of course that percentage drops. At around 7000 RPM, you're looking around 15% flow over the DS2. And then of course, with the cams, it just makes this pump a whole lot better. One thing that people don't realize is that this pump has actually been out for quite a while. It's actually been out for about half a year as of the making of this video and right now it is in August. Still called the DS2 but more officially now the DS25-250. If you have a pump from Dorch Engineering that has this fitting right here then you have a DS25-250. So if you purchased the pump within the last six months you probably have a DS25-250 and you don't need to look at upgrading. You already have the best of the best. One product that I am going to mention right now that was actually kind of unexpected. I learned about it really, really late. It's the high pressure fuel pump for the Gen 2 B58. And you may say, well, why is that significant? Well, it's significant because up until now, from the moment the Supra came out, nobody has been able to make a high pressure fuel pump that will support that fuel system. The fuel system for the Gen 1 B58 runs on a 200 bar system, so about 3000 PSI. The fuel system in the Supra and the Gen 2 cars, those are 350 bar fuel systems or around 5000 PSI. So that's why the new fuel pump for the Gen 2s is called the DS25-350 because it's gonna be operating at 350 bar. And that pump is long overdue. It is plug and play. They will include the high pressure fuel lines like any other, you can expect the same great quality now on Gen 2. And so let's go over some of those numbers. So the DS25-350 has a flow potential on gasoline of about 770 wheel horsepower or 950 wheel horsepower with the 27% cam upgrade for the Gen 2. And then the flow potential for E85 is about 560 wheel horsepower. And again, with the cam, it's around 710 wheel horsepower. The one thing that I do like is that now there are options and now these companies are starting to compete with each other and make all these products that we've been asking for for years now. So this is the update for the Deutsche Engineering fuel pump and I'm excited to see what else comes along. But yes, that pump, the 350 is gonna be, is gonna fit on the Supra, which is, I think is gonna be a big deal because a lot of the development on the B58 has happened so rapidly because everybody's been adopting Supras and Supras being JDM, there's a whole other market coming from there and then you have the European side. And so uh, it, this is really good news for the Gen 2 cars, all the newer cars like the G29s, the Z4 M40Is, so the G42s, G20s, all the new M240s, M340s, M440s, all of those, anything with a Gen 2 is gonna be able to take advantage of this. All right guys, that has been it, and I hope this gives you a good comprehensive look at all the updates on these pumps. Obviously, I already made a video kind of going over all of this and going over some of this data, but I just wanted to do an unboxing video and talk a little bit about what's going on with these pumps and clear some of the confusion that's out there. So from now on, there's only gonna be the DS15, 250 there's also going to be the ds25 250 and then there's also going to be the ds25 350 no more ds1 no more ds2 everything is being updated on the website as of right now i actually do talk to the ceo of torch engineering quite often they actually do engineer their pumps and you know bench test uh flow test everything they do everything it's a it's a legit engineering firm it's been really cool to be talking with uh chris and him giving me all this information giving me all the data and just you know ensuring that i come at you guys with the right information and that you guys know exactly what to expect when you buy one of these products anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you found this video informative go ahead and click like and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video Peace.